Hello everyone and uh, welcome to part 7 of uh, this end-to-end -end, uh, data pipeline series and uh, in this video we'll be automating our CI CD pipeline basically defining our workflows in github using github action and here we are going to have two workflows defined the CI and then the CD the CI being the continuous integration which will handle the tests and the CD will be the uh, continuous uh, deployment which will handle basically the deployment after the test uh, has taken place. Now, as you can see here, we have the CI.tml file which contains everything about the continuous integration uh, workflow and the CD.tml file also contains the workflow for the continuous uh, deployment. So let's go through the CI first. Here we have the CI, this is how we define our workflow. We are saying on pull request, for pull request that targets the master branch, we have one job, and that job is to run a test. What this basically means is that once the whole model test to run, whenever we create a pull request, and it's only when the whole test pass that we can have the option to merge our changes to the master branch. That is what this whole thing is all about. So let's look at it. Here we have the job and we have the test. Test name is uh, test dbt models. And then you have several steps uh, defined here. We have step one, we said check out, uh, the name is checkout code. And then step two, we setting up the Python environment. And the step three is basically upgrading our PIP and uh, setup tools. And then the step four is basically creating the virtual environment and then uh, activating the virtual environment as well and then installing the dependencies like uh, the dbt vquery adapter and also all the libraries in our requirements.txt file. That is what step four is about. Then step five is basically about creating a Google Cloud uh, platform uh, key, which is uh, basically what we did at the beginning of uh, this um, project where we created a, a Google service account. So that service account is what we are creating here now manually. So as you can see, it's always in a JSON format, but here I've already, this particular um, uh, values are already hidden in uh, my GitHub uh, repo environment. So you can see the type uh, is already hidden within this uh, Google, uh, secret.google type, all that. So the other uh, credentials are also given here. Everything is already hidden. This is for the service account. This is just basically the content of the service account. We are just defining them one after the other here, giving the variables and the, the keys and their values. Now, here, this is the profile.tml file. Here, we are targeting for the test, we are targeting the dev development uh, environment or the development uh, data set in this case. We have, basically, as we define in our profile.tml file when we are developing locally, we are going to define, we are also defining it here manually. This is only referencing the development. And then when once all these credentials have been evaluated and then the whole thing passed, then we are asking it to run the test. How do you, does it run the test? Basically by using this command dbt test and then we are saying target is a dev. So this is the CI part of it. And then let's look at the CD part of it. This is the continuous de uh, deployment. And now we are saying on um, push uh, to the master branch, we want it to do all this. Push the master branch now in the sense that after we create a pull request, the tests have all uh, run and then pass successfully, then you can only have the option to merge our changes to master. So in that case, basically pushing our changes to master. So at this point, which is the CD part, we want it to do the following before basically running the models and in this part at this point it runs the models and then maybe create the tables if they are not existing and then populate the tables with the new data that it fetches so here so here we are saying deploy to production that is basically the name of uh, the job and then we are doing the same thing like the same step we took for for basically authentication we took during the test we are going to also do the same thing during deployment do the same thing here we have the virtual environment set up just like we did in the test 
and then here we also have to create the google cloud uh, cloud uh, platform key and the profiles.yaml file so this is it these are the credentials that are contained in the service account and everything already hidden within the github environment and then here is the profile.yaml file content here you can see we are targeting the production uh, environment and also the production healthcare data which is because basically the production um, data set and then at the end of it all we are giving the command to run which is basically dbt uh, run and we are targeting the prod so this is where we defined the cd part of uh, the ci cd and this, the other part is where we define the ci of it we we'll had to use two different um, uh, workflows here so it to be easier to actually understand so now i've done some changes and all that let me just uh, let's see it in action let's say uh, it add all and then let's commit defined workflows enter and let's push it push origin we are pushing to dev now so we are done with this but let's view it on github so here we are on github as you can see it said dev had recent pushes one minute ago so compare and pull request so let's compare let's create the pull request so as you can see checking for some checks haven't completed yet let's basically it's writing is checking for the test so let's see the details of this this is the ci part of it it's setting up the environment a virtual environment just like we, we defined it it's still setting up now it's installing the dependencies it has authenticated now it's running the test so you can see the test running it's saying pass 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 so test completed successfully you can see done pass 38 warning zero error zero and it skipped zero so total of 38 tests done and they all passed so now we are done with the CI part of it. So we'll go back to our pull request. Let's refresh. So you can see all checks have passed and this branch has no conflict with the base branch. So now we have the option to merge our pull request. So now we can merge without the, the test passing, this option will be activated. So now that we have all checks have passed, now this option is here. So we can now merge our, our pull request, confirm merge. So we are done with the CI part of it. So let's see the CD part of it. So we are now in the master branch and let's see. So you can see it's now deploying to production. It's still doing the same thing that I did during the test for authentication purpose and also installing the dependencies. It's still setting up the virtual environment. So it's done with setting up environment, creating the Google Cloud Platform key and profile done with that. Now it's deploying to production. So you can see all the process here. So you can see they all run successfully. So the models and the job in this case run successfully. So completed successfully. So we can see deploy to production is done. We have deployed to production and the, the CD part of it is done. So let's see what we have in the uh, a BigQuery platform to see if our tables were actually updated based on this. So we can confirm um, from our BigQuery um, environment within the production healthcare data schema, you can see that the tables were created, and these tables were created from the basically from the um, production uh, raw data. So they are all here. So that means our deployment works as a planned. And the development also have its own data here similar data but maybe with fewer records than the production production has the whole records that we need so this brings us to the end of uh, this whole project of building an end-to-end -end data pipeline using google cloud bigquery dbt cloud and also dbt core which is the cli part and also github action and basically we cover them Part one we said uh, we set up how to set up a Google service account. We generated mock data and then uploaded to Google Cloud Storage. And then in part two, we created BigQuery external tables for the data, the raw data stored in the Google Cloud Storage. In part three, we set up a DBT cloud and developed uh, our models for the BigQuery. And then in part four. We deployed our DBT models to production 
using uh, dbt cloud and the uh, git uh, branches and then in part five we did similar thing in uh, using the dbt core which is the cli part for local bigquery development and in part six we developed our models as well incremental models and then uh, join data using a dbt core which is dbt cli and then the final part which we just uh, concluded we automated uh, our testing and deployment for the dbt cli models using github actions so i hope uh, this helps you in, the, in, in case you want to do similar thing and uh, thank you for watching bye Thank you.